Hey guys, I'm Heintje, and last year I went to Solingen in Germany. Of course I made a video of that day. Those of you who have seen that video know that I didn't have any confidence in my riding. For this year, the conditions were almost perfect, so fuck the mindfucks and let's enjoy the great trails. But first, let me roll the intro. The first thing I've noticed is the lack of trees. At first I didn't even recognize the trails. When I compared it to last year's footage, the trail is still the same. I have to say, it feels safer without the possibility to crash into trees. This is probably another mindfuck. There's still a lot you can hurt yourself on, but hey, everything that boosts your confidence is a good thing, right? You know what else boosts my confidence? You subscribing to my channel. It's really lovely to see so many of you liking my videos enough to take the time to subscribe. Even if it only costs you about one second, I truly appreciate it. For our next run, we did a variation of the same trail. In order to be able to go a bit faster, I left a small gap. A gap that I closed again pretty fast, just in time to witness my friend have the mindfuck issue, killing all his flow, what eventually led to this silly tumble. Again, I was able to close the gap in a matter of seconds, finally being able to overtake him just before the end of the trail. Next trail was new to me, a trail that has many, many line options, something worth a session someday. For now we just race through it, a short trail, but a very fun one. Back to familiar terrain, this one shows the progression I booked over the last year. Let me show you how it was back then, and this was even on our second run of the day, so I knew what to expect. Of course, it's not all skill. I think the conditions make the bigger difference. As you probably can see, this day was very wet and slippery, something I really struggled with back then. Add to that the general flow of the day. How well the previous trail went can make such a huge difference on how you're mentally approaching a trail. So now how it looked in perfect conditions, on the day I was feeling great. And no, I did not check my own footage before, so I was riding more or less blind. All I remembered was, the trail has a few jumps, some of them decent sized gaps. Coming around the corner and seeing a jump, knowing 90% certain it had to be a gap, and not being able to see the landing until the very last moment, my speed felt good, so I instantly decided to go for it. Sure, I learned that rear wheel heavy, but who cares, I just casually cleared the gap jump. If you've been here in the past and recognize this trail, the ending has changed a bit due to deforestation. It used to be steep and technical, now it's just steep. Still fun though. Let's hope this will become more technical over time. Let me summarize the next trails. We got steep and loose, steep and chunky, steep, loose and chunky, steep and slippery, then a part where I annoyed the hell out of my friend by overtaking Hello. him on the steep section. And some more steep, only this time low me steep. For this day I chose my e-bike, not a confidence booster. That one might need some explaining. When riding known trails, or well within my skill level, my bike choice doesn't really influence my confidence. When it comes to new features however, the stability of the heavy bike and the forgiveness of the suspension make me push my limits way more on the e-bike. Speaking of, at the end of this trail we spotted an awkward drop, or better said, a drop with an awkward landing. Too fast and you'll land flat, too slow and you'll go over the bars. 
Let's give it a go. Done that. No need to do it again. Over stijl gesproken, ja. Next trail, we started with some synchronized washing out. Shit. The rest of the trail went even worse. After all the steep stuff we've been riding so far, I was getting pretty confident. Maybe a tiny bit overconfident. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Also, I was running out of concentration by now, resulting in lots of small mistakes, up to the point that I even decided to walk a section. One feature I remembered well from last time was this rock slab. Last time the only option was left. Turns out this slab is way more fun when it's dry. Now you can choose a line. We ended the day with a non-stop run of a flowy trail. But before I show that run in its entirety, let me address one of its key features. First time I went for the easy option. Or better said, not so scary looking option. After watching some others hit the steep, scary looking option, it was time to go for it as well. Damn, okay. fucking mind fucks. Maybe a toe in will help. And it did. Thank you Mike. It was a bit sketchy, but pretty easy. Something to clean up in my final run. Now, while well, I show the full run of this great trail, let me thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna shut up now. I hope to see you back for my next video. In the meantime, have fun riding. How do? Jammer. <laughs>